champion. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sometimes when we find leopards, it makes my day every time. Now she's just admiring our repeater station, sitting on top of a termite mound. Do you see her, Seb? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so epic. I'm so excited. Well done, girl. Now I'm going to try and get myself in here somehow. I think this way is going to be better, Seb. And we've got to try and avoid knocking down our repeater station, which is a really good. And look, Cub is also here. <laughs> They're both here. I'm so happy. How cool is this, everyone? What a way to start our day. Now, I didn't know if we were going to find them, but look, there's a little Cub on the right and Mom on top. How cool is this? And look at how big the one, little one is and so relaxed as well. Very chilled. There we go. Playtime. How awesome. Epic. I knew this was a good choice to come down. Well done, Seb. <laughs> so cool. I was really going to look forward to actually trying to spend the morning with Shadow and Cub because they I haven't actually spent too much time with them. So I would love to spend a little bit more time and actually just get to hang around with them. The times that I have spent with Shadow's Cub has been an absolute sort of rush because it's been on Arethusa and lots of vehicles. But this morning we are here on Juma and it is quiet this morning because there are two cheetah up in the north in Buffel's Hook which is pulling everyone that way. And so that means we're going to get a nice prolonged quiet period with our lady and her little one. And look at her, look at the little one just watching us. Now this little one is not that confidence around vehicles moving through the bush as you can see while it trots away there and just goes and hides behind the grass but the interesting thing is is that when yesterday we were with her she was in no way scared of us while we were parked there and she was very chilled and so I think with one vehicle and this little time that we're going to be able to spend is going to be valuable in being able to relax this little cub a little bit particularly with our vehicles because remember our vehicles don't look the same as everybody else's we've got big aerial on the top and well the two of us look a little bit different a shorter wheelbase and so it's a slightly more different sort of situation now Alice I know you asked me about when will Shadow's cub be named but I didn't get the name of the person I think you said Barbara was it no that's the name of Shadow's cub no I'm joking that's what Exquisite Bliss, that's right. So Exquisite Bliss, um, Shadow's Cub will probably only be named at about a year old. So it's only six months old now. It's still got to go a little bit longer. And the reason why they only get named at that time, oh, look, they're playing. This is gonna be such a nice sighting. I just wanna try and get round a little bit closer to them. But Shadow was stalking the little one and running. Now, the reason why they only get named at a year old is because there's such a high mortality in leopard cubs. And well, it, Okay, wait. There we go. Look at that light on this beautiful little one. Hello, girl. Yes, you are very pretty. A bit wet from the dew and the mist. There she goes, bounding away. And she's going to bound after mom, who's in front here. <laughs> I think we're in for an epic morning of playtime with these two. I hope so, because it really is so cool to find them. I'm so excited. And so I was saying that they only get named at a year because of the sort of high mortality rate. And so once they get to a year old, it's kind of deemed that they will be able to look after themselves and be able to sort themselves out. And there we go. They've just joined up on that pathway. Sorry, Seb, I know. Let me go forward a little bit. But look at them. Aren't they beautiful in this golden light? And you can see why that cub is difficult to spot. Look at that. Once it's in the grass, it disappears completely. But Shadow is moving just to the left here. So I'm going to try and keep up with her more than I want to try and keep up with the cub. Hopefully Shadow's going to go on. So there's a big termite mound here. Well, not big, but it's a termite mound nonetheless. And hopefully she'll be just like what we saw just now, where she went up onto the mound and decided just to survey her landscape and so I'm hoping we're gonna have the same situation again indeed we do now Seb we're gonna try and see if we can't just get through here no mom stay because if you go then the little one goes now the problem is, is I've got a big branch in front and I don't want to chase the little one so I'm gonna wait for little one to catch up with mom before I go around this is so cool <laughs> now I hope you're all enjoying this as much as I am because well spending time with these two spotted beauties is never the worst way 
for a Friday to start. So feline Friday, off with the bang. Are you going to come bounding after mom? No, you've decided you're going the opposite way. You're going to be on your own little mission. And mom is now rolling in some dung, so she's just off to my left-hand side rolling in dung. And I think the little one will come. Let's just go forward a bit, Seb, and maybe the little one will come back to mom if we just park here while she rolls around in the dung itself. There we go. Look, she's busy rolling. And this is all just to hide her scent or mask her scent. Once she gets that bit of dung onto her, it will help with just masking scent. And there comes the little one. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not the greeting you want from mom early in the morning. That's mom telling her, this is my dung. Don't you come and mark yourself on this dung. Also remember that when she's rolling on that, even though that scent of the dung is getting onto her and is going to mask her scent slightly, she's also leaving a scent on the dung itself. So it's almost a way that she can mark territory. You'll find sometimes that leopards will go up to trees and rub their heads on trees. It's the same thing as what she's doing here. So even though it's not a tree itself, that dung will be there for quite a while. And any other leopard that walks past here is going to pick up that scent and know that this is is it dung it looks like dung Maritza are you asking whether or not Shadow and Tundi have taken control of Karula's territory well I don't think taken control can be the right word just yet that doesn't look like dung no, I think it's a note kill eh? An old kill? Yeah. That's interesting. I wonder what it is. We'll have to try and see. But um, not just yet, I don't think. You know, Shadow, where she is right now, is where she was when Karula was around. She used to walk around in this area quite a bit. We're right up on the boundary of Arethusa, and this is typical where Shadow used to kind of spend a lot of time. So there's really, I don't think sort of any sign of her taking over yet yesterday where she pushed into is definitely deeper into uh, Karula's territory than she's probably been in a long time and while Tundi has pushed very far I don't think they've necessarily set up their territories there yet but they are kind of moving into those areas and are slowly but surely sort of edging in and I think over time if we see in about six months time I reckon both of them will have pushed quite deep in and will have a situation where um, they will both have taken over some section of Kruler's territory. So they are starting to push more and more. It is interesting to see how they're moving in and it's already taken, you know, three, four months for them to start getting into those places. And now that they've realized that there's no leopard that's calling or making any noise, they've then decided to kind of push on and get into these areas and try and take over it for themselves. Seb, is it not a branch? No, it's an old kill. Mm, it's yeah, a skull. Look, look, look. It's yeah. a skull, there we go. Yeah, we I wonder, you know what this could be? This could be the zebra skull from that zebra kill we had the other day. Now, where the Inkaluma pride at that zebra carcass was, I would say, maybe about 800 meters to our south. And so we know that hyenas will often pick up things and play and, and move them around. And so I think maybe this is the top half of that zebra skull that's been dragged all the way up this way. And now they're just rubbing all over it you're going to stink little one you don't want to rub on that no don't be like mom <laughs> it must be quite a good scratching post because it's got lots of sort of hard edges perfect to scrape one's face on so Anna you say Shadow's little cub rivals Tumbo with her big ears well, yes, they do. <laughs> when they're young like this, everything looks too big for them. Are you having fun, little one? <laughs> hey? Yes, you are. <laughs> that is the face of naughtiness. Now, yeah, their paws look too big, their ears look too big, eyes look too big, but they all grow into it eventually. You can see Tumbo already is starting to grow into his ears and his sort of paws, but this little one is super cute. Are you enjoying yourself? That is so cool. Are you 
having fun. <laughs> Kirk, you say it's like a new cat toy, indeed. Look, little one has decided this is now mine. Shadow, I don't know, even know where she is. I think she's disappeared off into the distance. I can't see her anymore, but I'm sure she'll eventually call the cub and it will go bounding off. But for now, this little cub has decided this is my skull. Nobody else will have the skull and I shall play with it and have fun with it. And well, there we go. I'm sure mom has just called and that's why the little one's bounding off. She at least is a bit obedient. And look at that fat belly that I was talking about yesterday. You can see it bobbing around as it runs off. It's so cool. Ah, Seb, what a way to start our day. What a time, what, what a time. And as Megan, who is in final control, her catchphrase in life is, what a time to be alive. Well, there we go, Megan, what a time to be alive. Now, I'm going to try and avoid the chew toy and the cat toy, because I'm sure that will be used again at some point. But it is most definitely our zebra skull. And what is very interesting, Seb, I'm going to try and just position ourselves. I don't want to lose these leopards, so we're going to do this quite quickly. But look at how much damage hyenas have done to that skull it is really quite amazing that whole top half has just been crunched apart so everything has been broken down and that is the power of a hyena's jaw to go through bone like that is no mean feat at all wow quite amazing that they can do that very very cool to see and it smells very bad so we are onward and forward because I can't really stomach that right now I don't feel like it and we're going to lose these two leopards quite quickly if I don't try and catch up with them smell nice Seb oh sorry shadow I didn't even see you here I thought you had gone a long way away sorry my girl I was looking for where your cub was but you've decided to lie right here there we go okay there we go, there she is. So you can see the camouflage process is so good with these cats in this grass that you actually have to be very careful when you're driving off-road, especially following them, is because when they lie down, they just disappear and you can't actually see them. Oh, <laughs> somebody had, has gotten it all this morning. Somebody is full of beans and has woken up on the right side of bed and it is that little one because she is bouncing around all over the place. She almost looks a bit like Tigger bouncing on her tail at the moment. There we go. Wow, <laughs> this is so cool. Now let's try and get through all the monkey orange. I don't want to destroy Rusty's brake pipes because we've had a few issues with Rusty in the last few weeks so we don't want to damage Rusty anymore so got to be a little careful now we're going to carry on with our spotted beauties and spend some more time with this beautiful cub and shadow but watch now they're going to jump on one another there they go <laughs> they're just running off into the distance so while we try and relocate and try and find them again let's go all the way across 